Oh, come on. Oh, he stalled it. That's okay. <laughs> Thought he's just being deliberately dickish. He's actually having mechanical problems, that's fine. So, a beautiful day to go motorcycling. Nice and damp. Now, I'm going to avoid the uh, roadworks at the top of the hill here. Because the last few days it's been like this. Come on. And still they come. So uh, you get the idea. Last time there I was going for a thick end of five minutes and uh, it was ridiculous. So I'm going to try and find another route. That avoids that. Not the best weather for doing that kind of thing, has to be said. Nice bit of resurfacing here. Yeah. They just cover the road with gravel. They put down new surface, then cover it with crap and call it resurfaced. And I don't get it because it's not resurfaced. They've just destroyed it. It's absolute nightmare on a motorbike because you can't. You brake slightly, back end starts to go on you. Or even more fun, the front end starts to go on you. Resulting in certain doom. That's it, I'm lost now. <laughs> Supposedly, according to Google Maps, straight through. Aha! Oh, you're going to race me. Oh, fantastic. I'm only one too far, so you'll probably beat me, but really? Unless you go very, very quickly, it's going to end up on your ass. Well, I guess you suck. <laughs> so I wasn't even trying very hard. I guess the other thing we'll find out is how good I've waterproofed the uh, Drift HD. Because it comes with a waterproof end cap on it, but that doesn't allow you to use an external microphone. And the end cap that allows you to use an external microphone is not waterproof. Well, that's not a lot of use for the UK, is it? So I've uh, adapted the microphone one and basically I've uh, filled it with Sugru and uh, see if that will seal it off and keep the water out this is really the uh, first decent test of that I guess and if you're uh, listening to this it's worked and if you're not uh, it hasn't Definitely got a damp patch on my bum. Oh, I'm not indicating. What an idiot. That did button didn't press. That was stupid. That is the downside of dri driving. Driving. That is the downside of riding in the wet. and cold. It's so much harder to get your controls. Just 
down well back from these boys. So I've just noticed that the uh, the road's got plenty of crap on it. Look at that. The farmers are doing their autumn stuff, and uh, as a consequence, there's plenty of muck on the roads. I don't fancy trying to break on a shitty, muddy, crappy road surface. Okay, sit rep. I've got a suspiciously cold bum, which I think is down to rain. There's definitely rain. Come on then. Where are you going? There's definitely rain going down my gloves, which is less than pleasant. And there's a trickle of rain going down the neck. And because we're going slowly, the visor is kind of fogged up as well. Not badly, just at the top. Let's see if we can clear some of that. Yeah, I've definitely got the most groin. It's not a pleasant feeling. Because it's cold. Okay. Round about here somewhere. People breaking their heads, that's a good indication. See, my indicators do work. It's not when I'm being a knob and not pressing the button hard enough. He's giving me plenty of space, which is nice. So interesting to know, I've seen no other motorcyclists, but I have seen two cyclists. I don't know what that tells you. Probably that cyclists are a bit bonkers. There you go. I used to ride in this weather. On my bike. It's not a lot of fun. It's okay once you got going, because, you know, you're going to be wet anyway after a while. Another cyclist, that's three. You know what a cycle is, it generates your own heat. So it may be tipping down, but you're staying warm. Whereas on the motorbike, you get cold. Oh, a flood, brilliant. Nice bit of river across there. 